All right, everybody, good evening here on a Tuesday night in beautiful Vero Beach, Florida. Uh, you know, special edition, special episode, episode number 25 of Beyond the Court. This was, uh, we didn't see this coming. You know, uh, as you see here, my, my business partner, dear friend, huge supporter, uh, big promoter of the sport, and also Florida Racquetball Association board member Shane DeWitt is here as a special co-host filling in for Ellie because Ellie, uh, you know, this, this came up quick. And uh, I asked Shane if he would do this. He has a huge background in production and video and audio. And he, he thank you, Shane, for doing that. You know, we're really glad you could be here. And, you know, tonight's topic, Shane, is, uh, is a big one. I got a text today uh, from my good friend. And Kane said, hey, you know, would you mind? Can we jump on a show? And, and I just want to really tell everybody what's going on and, you know, why he won't be competing in Atlanta. And before he could finish his sentence, I said, of course, you know, I feel that beyond the court and, you know, I get, I have this platform and it's for that, it's for the players. So when Kane called and asked that, there was no hesitation. I said, absolutely. We'll make it happen. You and I just got back from a great dinner. And, uh, you know, I just want to say, Shane, thanks for filling in as a co-host here for Ellie. Well, Sunday, thanks for having me tonight. I really appreciate it. I'm going to do my best to fill in for Ellie tonight. I hope I can. I am not going to be drinking White Claw, by the, by the way. So that's not <laughs> going to happen. I've got my my bourbon. I'm ready, and uh, yeah, let's find out what's going on with Kane. I mean, we're all interested, and in, you know, we know he's going to be in Atlanta. I think he's doing mm -hmm. a clinic, but um, mm -hmm. he's not going to be playing. He's not, he's not going to be playing in the tournament. And uh, I've got some questions for him. You have some questions for him, uh, and let's let's find out what's going on. All right, great. So yeah, that we're we're going to talk to Kane Wazalenchuk here in in right after these messages. Scotty Max going to bring us to a quick commercial, and we'll be right back with Kane. All right, we're back with the king, with the goat, Kane Wazalencha. Kane, what's up, brother? You text me today. You know, we got on the phone right away. There was zero hesitation when you asked me to, to come on and, and, and hear your voice. Uh, thank you, you know, for choosing that route anyway. And, you know, this is for you, buddy. You know, I'm going to miss you in Atlanta. I thought you were going to be there. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to compete. Um, and, and we'll get to that. But why don't we just get right to it and, and tell everybody what's going on? Yeah, you know, uh, first of all, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, it's important for the people to know, you know, why I'm not playing, obviously. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, you know, I have uh, obviously the utmost respect for you and what you guys are doing on on this. And so, uh, you know, you were the first one that I thought of, you know, obviously to, you know, to uh, to, you know, kind of explain why, you know, I won't, you know, I won't be playing in Atlanta and uh it's kind of a no-brainer to me, but and I, I appreciate, you know, you allowing me to use the platform. Um, you know, I've always said, you know, like I'm the type that I feel, you know, you know, sometimes personally I want to, you know, respond to people on Facebook and whatever, but I do have a bigger platform that I can use. And so thank you for allowing me to use this platform, uh, kind of opinions all the time and stuff like that. But uh, to kind of get into it, you know, let's just get down to the point, you know, um, People want to know why I'm not going to be in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, a lot of stuff has happened, you know, throughout obviously the last eight, nine months. And, uh, you know, uh, it's also given me a time to reflect and think about things. And, uh, you know, I've, I've taken on a few, you know, new challenges in my life. And it's kind of, you know, I don't know, I guess it kind of, you know, my attention away from really high for myself when it comes to going to a tournament and winning. And, um, you know, but, uh, um, you know, I think that, you know, I need to be honest with myself. And the reality is, is, is that I, I, I haven't had the time to train, uh, given some things personally that I've had to, 
deal with and uh, the a couple of new things challenges uh, as far as after racquetball and you know ventures that I'm that I'm trying out so just one of those things that uh, the time of it and uh, you know I respect Donald and and all the sponsors you know um, that I uh, support the tournament and I committed to the clinics and stuff like that and you know, I think that whether or not I'm playing or not, I think that it's important for me to be there. And, and um, you know, it just, uh, it's a tough position for me, right? Because, you know, I understand that the, 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 the excitement that comes. Hey, sorry about that. I, I can't you're, show up you're, to a you're tournament breaking up. and not be ready. Uh, you're, you're breaking up, buddy. You're breaking up pretty bad. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, no, you're yeah. fine on my end. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of the bad connection. If you if you could just can you maybe just start over real quick, just you know, sorry about that. You know, why you're not no, it's okay. Yeah, we, we lost you. So so just kind of start over because it it was definitely very, very choppy. So yeah, no so worries. Why, no worries. why so won't good. you be competing? Go ahead, start over. I'm, I'm good now, right? I'm good now. Yeah, right now it's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No, I just, uh, I've taken on a, you know, taken on a few new ventures and, uh, you know, the time in the eight, you know, eight, nine months, you know, obviously I had to think about my future, uh, past racquetball, you know, I mean, it's, sure. it's, it's a kind of a, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's something you got to do and I'm not 25 years old. And so, um, you know, I got a few things that, you know, I, uh, that have come my way that I'm, you know, with crowning moment that I'm, I'm, I'm working on and, and uh, excited about to announce that stuff in the future. And, and, uh, but you know, I'm just not prepared. I haven't had the time to prepare and that's just the bottom line. And I think that when I go to a tournament, um, there's an expectation and that expectation is for me to win. That's it. And so, uh, you know, and, it, and it's, it, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it, it kind of, it, 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 it's, it's awesome going to the tournaments and playing and winning. But at some point, you know, there are times where I catch myself thinking to myself, are people here to see me I, I mean, Scotty, Shane, you guys are much more technically sound than I am. Um, not, not sure. What do you think, Scott, uh, Shane? What's your, what's your call on this? I think Kane's on Wi-Fi and it's, it's, it's going in and out. So. I don't know. All right. Well, I think now he might have got kicked off. I know Scotty's texting us in the background. Hey, everybody watching. We're, we're, mm -hmm. you know, see. Seems to be some Wi-Fi issues. I got you. Came. Got you. Okay. All right. So, so we you got you. We got. Yeah, yeah. I got you back. Yeah, we got you. Jeez, shit, shit. I, I, it's a, it's, hey, it's twenty twenty one, kind of twenty twenty. Or it, it happens. That's what happens. Hey. Don't. Yeah, don't sweat it. I know Shane. Shane had a question for you though, King. I do have a question, Kane. So, you know, Kane. Look, I'm, I'm not a professional player. I'm not a former professional player like Sudsy. Uh, you know, but, but I am a fan. I'm an amateur player. I've been watching you for years and you talked about your training and look, none of us have been able to really train in. And depending on where you are in the country right now, some people have had facilities open to them. Some people haven't. I don't know how it is in Texas. I know how it is here in Florida, but, but Kane, I mean, in all honesty, and I'm not, not I'm not trying to stroke anybody's ego here, but Kane, look, what have you lost? You've lost two matches in the last, what, 18 years? I mean, I know, I know your age. I'm 48, man. I know how it feels. Trust me. But listen, you coming to Atlanta and competing, I'm picking you as the winner. I mean, I, mm -hmm. odds are you're winning, man. So can you, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah. You know, the bottom line is, is that, uh, you know, everyone has a bar for me, but I've also set a bar for myself. And, okay. you know, I've kind of shot myself in the foot, really, you know, I mean, you know, Perfect. again, right, like, when I go to a tournament, I'm expected to win, you know, and like I said, you know, I don't know if I cut out or not. But it seems like there are times where I catch myself at a tournament thinking, are people here to see me win? Or are they here to see me lose? You know, and so that makes me have to understand my position. And, you know, call me selfish, call me whatever it may be. But, you know, I, I have to look out for myself, but I also have to be honest with myself as well, too. And it's not fair in the position I've put myself in to just not be prepared. And I have to be honest with that. And honestly, in my career, of my 20 plus years being on the tour, 
there's not too many times you can really sit back and say that I haven't been prepared, you know, and this sure. situation has more been about the future after racquetball, you know, and what I'm going to do after racquetball and the ventures I want to take on. And I've had the time, you know, I've had the time to do it and it's engulfed my time. And, and, uh, you know, it's something that I have to think of, you know, and, and, uh, it's something that, you know, I ha it's not just for myself, it's for my family and racquetball is not going to be around forever. And I think that racquetball people need to understand that I'm not going to be around forever, you know? I, and that's why, you know, the point of me going to Atlanta by not playing is letting people know that like, I do, I do care. And I do know how important I am to a tournament. And um, you know, I think that it's important that I'm there and I'm, I'm, I'm personal friends with Donald, you know, who's a big sponsor of the tournament and, and, uh, and I'll, as well, you know, the other sponsors, but, you know, I mean, I want to respect that. And, you know, I, I, you know, I've kind of read a few things, you know, here and there on Facebook and whatever. And, you know, listen, I have the, I have the sponsors support and that's what matters. And, you know, that's kind of been a tough thing in my career throughout the, throughout the years is that, you know, when I've been injured and I can't play and, you know, I've been getting flack the whole time. Like, you know, it's like a better half of a decade, you know, where, you know, well, I mean, you know, well, just be honest, you know, the one person that, that, that comes to mind is Don Chopri. Um, He had a couple of tournaments and, you know, I, I, couldn't show up, I couldn't lift my arm up, I couldn't, I couldn't even hit the ball and, you know, respect flip, like, I mean, you know, so, you know, dealing with those type of things, and it's just tough, you know, and you just gotta make a decision, right, and, and, uh, that's why I decided. To yeah, you, you definitely just did a little Charlie Brown, bro. So it was like in and out. It's funny, but I saw, Al, Al, yeah, Allie, Allie said something in the in the comments. She said she's frantically shutting every device off in, in the house. So, yeah, well, you know, I mean, it, you got to remember, we have like five people all on one Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so good, Allie, good Good job to that. Keep trying. And I know Veronica just texted me. I haven't seen what it said yet. But, you know, so, Kane, let, let me, most importantly, number one, you're not injured. You're okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, yes. good. good. You're going to be in Atlanta. I am going to be in Atlanta. Yeah, I right, committed so, to doing the lessons. Tell, yeah, tell us, about the, tell us about that at the clinic. Yeah, so uh, Thursday night, um, uh, you can still sign up. Uh, I believe it's five, six, and seven. I have to check again, but... Uh, six to eight spots each hour. Uh, there's an hour of forehand lesson, hour of backhand, hour of question and answer. And, and uh, you know, just, uh, you know, have some fun and get the, you know, let the people, uh, you know, kind of interact and get on the court with me. And then uh, I'm hoping to do some commentating. As a matter of fact, I was hoping to do some commentating with you. I mean, we talked about it, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, why not? I I, I, th uh, I think yeah, it would be, yeah. be fun. I think we will. For any of you that are watching and anybody that's going to be in Atlanta or not, if you could get there, I tell you what, I would sign up for that shit. I'm going to be popping my head in, the, in your clinic and you're not charging me and I'm going to try to hear what you got to say. And I'm going to tell Shane, well, Shane's not going to be there. But she, price? Can I get Sudsy's price? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> seriously, any of you, a, any of you that are in Atlanta, if you could do that, I mean, Tell me a sport where you could sign up and, and imagine, you know, being able to go play with Tiger Woods or Michael Jordan or Roger Federer. Like, you should do it and and take advantage of that. And I don't even know what the price is, but it's worth it, period. And, yeah, you and know, also, out. too, you know, I also want to I also want to add on to something that, you know, I, uh, I you know, I, you know, I'm all about kind of signs a little bit here, you know, and I kind of, you know, throughout my career, I've kind of tried to look at signs and little superstitions and stuff and you know what, you know, one of the reasons, big reasons why I, wa I wanted to still go to Atlanta other than being per personal friends with Donald was, you know, I feel like in lately, you know, in this time of, you know, not having tournaments, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and kind of let me know, um, you know, what I've meant to them just as being a racquetball player. Like, I'm going to give you an example. I had a guy reach out to me and ask me if I can make a video for his dad that uh, had a stroke. 
and it would make his day. Like to me, you know, that, that to me means more, you know, as far as an overall job, right? Like those type of things are like, I mean, those, I mean, sending a 30 second video to someone is no big deal to me. And I'm not, I'm not I don't mean it that way. Right. But like, you know, to, for, to be able to just, you know, touch someone's life like that, you know, I, I think that, you know, that's what it's kind of about. So going back to the science thing, you know, I just think that it, I think that I'm also at a time too, where I, I'm willing to give as far as my knowledge and I want to give and I enjoy people get, I enjoy people seeing people get better. And I enjoy, you know, that stuff. And I, I'm starting to actually enjoy it more than competing because honestly, I have nothing to gain by competing anymore. I have everything to lose. And, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe my spot in the game right now is more so of passing it on my knowledge on and, 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 you know, I'll play right. You know, obviously I'm not retiring. I'm not anything, but like, you know, maybe, you know, I just, there's been a lot of more of these things of, you know, kind of like that don't really have to do with racquetball. I'm getting messages more that have to do with like, you know, like, I look up to you and, you know, my dad, like, you know, my dad looks up to you and, you know, stuff like that. And I think that, you know, you know, as well as I do, Suds, you've had people like that as well, too, that's come around in your career. And I, that's more touching in, in, in general. And I think that, you know, I think that I'm in a position where I, I think I'd lo I want to give more in that regard as well, too. Shane, I know. Go ahead, Shane. So, Kane. Uh, you know, I'm listening to you, and 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 again, as a fan, am I uh, number one? Can you can you elaborate more to your fan base and to those out there about what you're talking about with your future after racquetball? And then also, are we looking at maybe Kane Wasenchuk is you you just said you're not going to retire, but are we maybe looking at in the next? year or two that maybe you are i mean again i know i know coronavirus and this whole pandemic has taken us all back and and, and we haven't had the tour or whatever if if the tour started tomorrow and we were good to go are you going to be a part of that tour are you going to be part of the 21 tour or is it something that you're thinking well i'll pick and choose or i mean can you elaborate a little bit more on 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 on, on the tour part of it and then you know, what your future is. And then as far as the fan base, I mean, for instance, do you feel as a professional athlete, again, you are at the top of not only racquetball, but as, as far as a single sport, you're at the top of, of everyone. I mean, you've, you've won more than anyone. Uh, do you feel a little bit of like, you owe it to the fans to show up? I mean, can, can you, can you comment on that? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, I think that you have to understand that there comes a point where you've actually given to the fans, you know, and, uh, you know, I think that 20 years and, uh, you know, 15 plus years of dominating. I mean, I think that's a lot, you know, yeah. um, you know, uh, you know, I don't know what the future holds for racquetball, you know, but the reality of it is, is that I want it to succeed and I want to be a part of it. Um, but I also have to think of my future, you know, and uh, I reach, you know, I, I reach a, you know, um, a, a position in my life where, you know, I'm 39 years old and, you know, and, and, and there are some uncertainties as far as the future of racquetball. And I want to I want to help that and I want to do whatever I can to help that. Um, but, you know, I do believe this racquetball doesn't owe me anything and I don't owe racquetball anything. I think that when you look back on it, I think we both got the best of each other, the best out of each other, I should say, you know, um, you know, so I never, ever feel, you know, yeah, sometimes it's hard, you know, to, you know, yeah, I do feel like the weight of racquetball is on my shoulder sometimes. Yes, I do feel that, you know, and, and, uh, you know, it, you, people need to understand that that's not always the greatest feeling in the world. Um, it's very stressful and it's very, um, you know, I, uh, I take pride in what I do and I take pride in what I accomplished. And, uh, you know, um, you know, I want it, I want racquetball to be 
what I believe it can be. And I know that I'm not the only one, um, but I'm not going to be the only one. And I do believe that, you know, I've done a big part of what I was sent out to do for racquetball. Um, I do believe that. And I've given my heart and my soul and everything to racquetball. Um, you know, and uh, there are some things as far as growing the sport are that are out of my control. Um, and uh, even, you know, that's the burden that, that the best player in the world and potentially the greatest player in the world takes on. And then uh, you just got to have thick skin. But at the end of the day, I also have to think of life after racquetball. And I'm not saying when I say after racquetball, I don't mean that I'm leaving racquetball. I just mean that, you know, there's, there's a new chapter, you know, right. I I will always, you know, be involved in racquetball. I will never leave racquetball. I mean, I I will always be involved in some form of fashion. And like I said, like, I'm really enjoying teaching and passing my knowledge on to people. And, and uh, it's also a challenge to me too. I'd like some of these top guys to come and work with me and, you know, and then maybe <laughs> a tournament and, you know, listen, I'm, I, I don't mean that disrespectfully. I don't, you know, I really don't, you know, and I know that, you know, it can come off sometimes disrespect, but that's not what I mean. I just mean that, you know, I, I think I've reached a point in my career where I, I'm ready to pass on that knowledge and, you know, and, and uh, I, I, I don't feel I have like any, I don't feel like I have anything to prove, you know, and, and, uh, I just, you know, again, just going to Atlanta, I think that it's just the right thing to do. And I think that people will see a different side of me as well, too. An opportunity to see, you know, a different cane, you know, a a non-competing cane. And, you know, I I can give insight and, you know, just me being there adds a buzz to the tournament. A hundred percent. And there's no doubt, you know, I mean, Kane, first off, we're definitely getting on the microphone because if we have to throw those guys out of the booth, you and I are going to commentate some matches. We're going to entertain the fans. We're going to have some fun. And I, I don't think we've ever commentated together, so that I'm certain that will be a blast for anyone. So look for that or just email the IRT and say, like, just demand that you want Kane and I to be on there. Um, you know, Kane, you're, we were talking today earlier, and, you know, there's so many similarities, like, listening to you. I know we're only seven years apart, but a lot of the stuff you're saying, I went through. I felt it. And like I told you this morning on the phone – I said, I get it. I understand. And there's not too many people that can understand that. You know, we, we talked about that. May, yourself, Cliff, and maybe me kind of, you know, Hogan maybe, but it was a little bit different. You should be a multi-billionaire. You're, you're probably, you know, you are, in my opinion, the most dominant athlete in any sport in the history of all sports. And it happens to be <laughs> racquetball. And like, you should be a billionaire. We should be flying around in private jets. We should be, you know, doing things that you deserve and earn to do. And that is weighing. And, and I know what that feels like. And there comes a point in a career like yours where you kind of look and go, wow, look what I've done. Look what I'm doing. Look what I've given. And then it's like, all right, where's that next door going? And you just sound like, like all of a sudden, maybe it's COVID. Like, like, like I use the words today, you were a little bit more mature. You figured it out. You're seeing it more clearly. And, and maybe it was this break. You know, and and definitely talk about your know, crowning moment and some of the things you're doing because you deserve all the support that's out there and anything anybody can do. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that. And obviously, you know, uh, you know, I, I hope that the racquetball community supports me in in uh, this one of the new ventures. And I got a, uh, you know, kind of, you know, crowning moments going to look a little different here in a little while. I got some things coming out. Um, I got some watches and stuff like that. And it's really cool. And it's a you know, it's kind of scary, you know, it's kind of scary because it's all new to me, but I've really enjoyed it. It's been a great process. It's been really, really fun. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, you know, there's not really any more information I can really give. There's a, it's just in the work, you know, in the works right now, but, uh, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that kind of stuff. And, you know, I've been working with it, you know, looking back on it, I've, you know, had the company since, you know, 2006 and, you know, I've done things here and there and, and, uh, you know, I'm kind of excited for this next little opportunity for that. You know, um, uh, I've always been into fashion, always been into stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, I'm really excited. Kane, and your fashion's good. Your, your, sorry, ahead. sorry, Shane. I, I have one of Kane's jackets in my closet. I don't know if you remember literally 20 years ago it's like a brown corduroy jacket it's pretty cool um and you know 
I, I don't know if you remember it, but I still have it. I think I borrowed it one time, and then we just never got never got back in your hand. So thank you. I'll I'll bring it though to the next next event. I just hope it fits. Okay, look, it, it, it fits to, me now. I'm trying to teach Sudji about fashion, but we'll talk about that another day. Yeah, that's a long so, conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, Kane, I think it I think it's I think it's really cool and admirable. You know, I was talking to Ellie today when we were trying to arrange to to get him on the show, but. He had a prior commitment and you know we couldn't wait you wanted to speak so obviously we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that you can be heard um you know we we both were like you know you're driving out to the event you're going out there or you're going to be there and you're not even playing you know that says a lot right there that people need to pay attention to also you're not going to be there competing you know dominating and, and taking that money but you're still going you know and and, and that's really cool of you to do you know like shane said for the fans and the event and your commitments as well yeah, yeah, no, I, th I, I do, you know, I feel an obligation to the sponsors and I feel also an obligation, you know, just to the people. And I know, you know, I'm not, I, you know, I know what I bring to a tournament, whether I'm playing or I'm not. And so, you know, I just, you know, it's just, in, it's, it's important. And obviously, you know, um, obviously a big, you know, one of the big reasons, you know, um, that, you know, this is obviously a, a good conversation is because you can actually relate to me. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, that, that was kind of like a, a, a big thing for me, you know, cause, uh, not too many people understand the position, you know, of, of what we're in and what you've been in and what I've been in. And, and, uh, you know, I mean, you know, listen, my, my, you know, my career is about one thing winning, you know, it's not even about number one. It's just about, Hey, this guy never lost. You, you, you know, and that, that sets the bar pretty high, you know, and I'm honored and I'm honored. And, you know, I mean, listen, I'll be one tough act to follow. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much, you know, um, I'll tell you this, nobody's gonna, I, I don't know, but Hey, I'll be the first, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be the first person shaking hands with that person that breaks any of my records whatsoever. I'll be the first person that greets them on when they walk out of the court. Yeah, yeah, we we've joked about it plenty. We were like, you know, like I have four U.S. Opens, and it's like four. <laughs> what what is four when you got fifty? What do you have now? Like twenty five? I don't even know what you have anymore. I stopped counting once you got to like, you know, ten. I think what, it's fifteen. I think it's fifteen. What, so what what are you planning to do? You know, like like Shane, you know, piggybacking what Shane said. You know, if the tour just starts up and this COVID goes away and 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 the vaccine's out. Like, do you have a direction of exactly what you want to do? Do you want to play full time still? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, obviously, you know, if there was some light at the end of the tunnel, obviously that would probably, you know, um, you know, enhance the the drive, you know, um, you know, but, uh, you know, there's a lot that goes along with that, too. You know, like I currently don't have a sponsorship. Um, you know, we all, obviously, you know, as well, even playing no matter what the demographic of racquetball was, the sponsorship was very important and uh, it really alleviated some, uh, some costs as far as traveling and stuff like that. And, you know, you don't have that and, you know, you have a tour that, that pops up. I mean, you know, this is what a lot, I don't think a lot of people understand is that, you know, if we have, if we have a tournament for, and we make $3,500, right. And, you know, we have to buy our flight. We have to buy, you know, most of the, most of the guys, right you know let's just say you know they're making 500 a thousand dollars well most of these guys you know they're going to the tournament and you know their flight is 500 dollars. their hotel is this they're you know i mean it's just like it gets to the point where you know uh, yeah sponsorship really does help you know and 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 uh you know you do have expenses and so you know you can put out on a on, on a flyer of like you know hey it's four thousand dollars for first place but a lot of these you know a lot of these players have expenses. So like when I go to a tournament, it's $4,000. It's not really $4,000. I'm really taking home $2,000. Right. And don't get me wrong. I've had a lot of generous people, right. Keith Miner, Donna Williams, you know, helping me out financially at tournaments and hotels and, you know, so I, and I, I'm forever grateful to them for that, but that doesn't happen all the time. You know, and so sponsorship is important and, you know, going to a tournament, you know, and, you know, making, you know, you know, $2,000, right, but make, but the tournament's 4000 
it's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be greedy, but like at the same time, that's just living paycheck to paycheck nowadays. Like you're going to have to like, you know, there's more, right? Like, you know, my rent, my rent is $2,000. You're, yeah, you know? but you're not you're you're not greedy. You're generous by doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know, look at look at it look at look at it that way. And yes, I I understand exactly what you're saying. So Shane, yeah. go ahead. I know I know you have a question. So Kane, what is going to change that? In other words, what you're telling us is that these professional players, top ten, top twenty, or whatever, are living paycheck to paycheck. What's going to change that to where you're making four thousand dollars to where you're making twenty five thousand dollars a tournament? You well, understand, and then then you you pay those expenses. You're you're getting bigger endorsements. What, in your opinion, you've you, you've done this again? We talked about it earlier. I think you've won fifteen U.S. Opens. Uh, you know, there's just so many different titles that you have. You've been in you've been in this for twenty years uh, almost as a professional athlete. What, in your opinion, is going to change this to where the next generation, the next Kane, is going to not make four thousand dollars, but he's going to get a paycheck of twenty-five or fifty or seventy-five? What is going to change that? You know, if I had the answer, it would have already been done in my twenty years. That's for sure. Um, you know, uh, the answer is I don't have an answer, but I, I I do have an opinion, and I think that when I came on tour. 20 years ago, a sponsorship was prestigious. Like you actually did something. You weren't just some person that happened to put his credit card into, you know, um, you know, online or whatever. And you, you know, you, it was prestigious. You had to do something. Um, you know, I know Suds and I have had plenty of conversations about this, you know, these player programs, right. Um, you know, they, <laughs> do not help racquetball. They help each individual company, but I don't think they help the really the growth of racquetball. I think that they limit players, you know, to signing a contract with one specific company. And though it may be beneficial to the company, I don't think that it's beneficial to racquetball overall. Um, you know, I think that, um, I think that the, the IRT and professional entities need to be the focal point. Um, in any sport, a professional level trump, trumps anything, trumps anything, right? And I'm talking men and women, right? Really? And we need to provide value to these players. And until we provide value, the value that I have isn't because people built that value out of marketing or anything like that. I've built that value out of winning. And I've had to win of a hell of a lot to build that value. Sure. You know, um, that's not all my fault. Now that you can put a little bit on me because I'm not really an Instagram person. I'm not, I'm not really, I'm, that's just not me. So you can point the finger at me and say, well, you know what, Kane, that's a little bit of your fault. Fair enough. Fair enough. But the last time I checked, I was a racquetball player. I wasn't any marketing person. I wasn't, I'm a racquetball player, you know? So there are people out there in my career that could have marketed me in a certain way. And there are people that did market me and didn't get anything. There are people that, you know, so, um, you know, I just think that the prestige of the pro game has kind of dwindled away due to player sponsorships. And I think that it limits the overall business. You're talking about amateur sponsorships. Yes. Yes. Like, like, for instance, like if you sign a player deal, you have to sign a contract saying you're going to play with, you know, whatever, like, you know, a specific company and you're going to use their racket. And at a tournament, you have to wear, you know, a specific logo on your clothing and this and that. That's really like cornering the market. You're like, you know, yeah. and in a, in a in a market where, you know, the companies hold like, you know, different kind of like values of, you know, or, or or pies of the, of the share, so to speak, right? You have a big company like Head. Well, Head's a huge company, right? So they can sponsor more people where ProKenix is a lower company, where Gearbox is kind of right aware, you know, kind of ProKenix is. So you have this, this, this struggle, I think, for how many pro players in it, and it benefits the company immediately, but right? And, and it brings value, you know, it brings revenue to the company immediately. But it also devalues sponsorship. Yes, I was, yeah. We 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 had this cane. We not had only this you conversation, and I, did we not? Shane and I five hours ago coming home from the mall, 
had this exact conversation. And what you just said is what I said to him. I said, because we, the, the industry has conditioned people. And I use Shane as an example. I said, you, he has a player package with head. I said, here's the problem. If head goes, we're not going to sign you. You're conditioned to go, well, let me go to Kennex. Let me go to Gearbox. Let me go do this. Let me go Instead do that. Instead of going to Racquetball Warehouse or Lawler Sports or Racket World. And, 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 like and a head racket and this and that. And Kane, Kane, by the way, Sudsy, everybody, I don't deserve to be sponsored by head. <laughs> Tim Hansen, do not reject my contract. Anyway. I don't deserve it. I'm not, look, I'm not a number one open state player in the state of Florida, but I agree with what you're saying, Kane. I think it devalues players like yourself who are professional players. You deserve the first and foremost, and that money should be pushed to you, whether it's pro pinks, gearbox head or whatever. Look, if I've got to pay $250 for a racket every year because I want the greatest and the best and their clothing or whatever, great. I, I'm fortunate that, I did get a head contract and but, but at the same time, you know, you know, no, how, how, let me ask you this. Now, let me, let me ask you a question, right. As the, in the position that you are, right. Sure. Is that I would ask you this, is that if head, you know, let's just say you didn't have the sponsorship from head because that sure. limits you to playing with head and you're right. specifically with head right now. Being the per being the advocate that you are, and I know I, I'm friends with you on Facebook. I see your, you know, how much you love racquetball and what you do and stuff like that. So, would you not go to Racquetball Warehouse, right, and Racket or Racket World or somewhere else, and maybe you might buy a Pro Canix racket, but maybe, just maybe, you might also go. You know what? Like maybe I'll buy a Gearbox racket, but you know what? I really like that Pro Canix Pier One glove. But you know what? I really like the head shoes, right? So not being locked into something, right? Because we don't, the demographic of racquetball is not really big. So, you know, we need to spread the love in my opinion, right? We need to sure. allow people like you to make your decision of what, listen, if you want to be decked out in head stuff, great, but don't hold you to the fact that you have to wear all head stuff. Because what happens if you're like, well, you know what? Like, you know what? I, I like Kane and I like Sudsy and I want to wear Sud some of Sudsy stuff and I want to wear some of Kane stuff. And they're like, well, sorry, you got a contract to me. That's limiting the, that's limiting the exposure yeah. of, and the, and the love in racquetball. And it's contradicting and, what and, we're and actually I, putting out and, there. And honestly, Kane, I've never tried a pro Kinex racket. So I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've always, ever since Ectalon went under, I went to head and I've only tried, I've only used head equipment. I love head equipment. And I, yeah. I, me just saying that. I, I love head equipment, and even if head wasn't sponsoring me, I'd still be using head rackets. There you However, go. if I went to your clinic and you said, Shane, try this Pro Kinex racket. You're going to love it. Try this Pro Kinex. So, hey, I'm more than willing to try that out. And if it, if it, if it suits me better, yes, I would, I would absolutely use it. Yeah, but, hey, but, at that, but at that point, you don't even have that option. So maybe right. what ends up happening is you don't even come to my clinic or you don't even come to any pro clinics thing because you're like, well, it doesn't matter anyways. I mean, I'm stuck in this contract anyways, where, sure. you know, the, the amount of people and the amount of, you know, there's money in racquetball. There really is, right? But if we tie it all up into like you not being able to do this or that or whatever, like I can understand us when the companies are paying a bunch of money to us. Right. I can understand us being under contract limiting, you know, sure. all that kind of stuff. But as far as like amateurs, let them go out and, you know, because it's, it's spreading the love. The, the only way that everything is going to build is not if head wins everything, Right. That's not building the sport. Every something's got to give where everybody's got to get a little bit of love. And the and and to me, the the play the amateur player packages and player sponsorships really is a huge burden on building the demographic of racket. I I, you know, I, I, I agree. I agree. I've, that's the first I time agree. I've ever heard it explained like that. Sorry, Sudsy, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that's the first time, Kane, I've ever heard it explained like that. Yeah. And I, actually absolutely agree with you yeah it's, it's, as an amateur it's, player what's it matter it yeah well that you know that yeah, yeah. it's it's a hundred it's a hundred percent accurate you look at all of the sports you know my son and, and kane your kids play sports you know if they want nike sneakers and they want a mizuno bat or they want 
you know, in tennis, the same thing. My wife, she's using a head tennis racket. She has but a different bag and different sneakers. You're not going to quit. But Kane, this is up to you. But um, there's a couple of comments. Do you want to discuss your sponsorship uh, situation right now? Like, no, look, I'm, I mean, you know, again, you know, I, 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 I'm pretty transparent. I think I've always been, you know, and the, the reality of it is, is that I'm not under contract right now, um, okay. you know, and, uh, you know, which is ridiculous, by the way. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, I agree with you, you know, and I also <laughs> sympathize with the fact of everything that's going on, too. But I do believe that, you know, um, you know, I, I, listen, I'd like to be sponsored and I can't sit here personally and say that if I had a sponsorship right now um, or if I was sponsored that I would go to the tournament. I can't say that. But, you know, I mean, you know, obviously being, you know, the position that I am, obviously, Seems a little odd that I'm not, no, but no, it's not. Odd. You, you, sh you should. You're being nice. You're, you're being nice, and you should be sponsored. It's a disgrace. It's embarrassing. It disgusts me. It touches my soul that you don't have a contract. It bugs me, and and I actually can get angry, and 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 also very sad. So I'm I'm gonna leave it at that. So you're not under contract. And then the next question, um, just to recap because the the you know the Wi-Fi was going out, but I'm getting some texts. Uh, actually, Timmy Hansen, you know, just text to and, and some messages uh, just like kind of summarize exactly why you're not competing in Atlanta, but you're going to be in Atlanta. OK, yeah. Well, I mean, I just, you know, in a nutshell, taking on some ventures and, um, you know, my my uh, uh, my attention's kind of not really been on training. And, you know, the, like I said, the bar has been set really high for myself. And I got to be honest with myself. I, I can't just go there unprepared. Um, that's just the position, I guess I've kind of put myself in and, and, uh, you know, I have to, you know, I, I, I don't want to put myself in a position to fail. The reality of it is, is if I went and I knew that I wasn't ready, um, me losing isn't as a big deal as anybody in the draw losing. And I, and Correct. you know, I've, I've kind of shot myself in the foot, like I said about that. Um, but I still think it's important that I go and I still think that I, um, I can make the tournament, not that the tournament wouldn't be a success without me, but I think that I can help the tournament and uh, add some excitement to the tournament. And I think that that's important. And on top of it, um, you know, I, I committed to the lessons and I, and, uh, you know, it's not fair to those people, you know, I mean, I may not be ready to play or, or, you know, and, and in the shape that I'd like to be in. Um, but, you know, I still deserve, you know, those, those people that signed up still deserve, um, you know, for me to come and, and do it. So I'm going to honor it. That's cool. That's re that's really good. You know, I, we talked earlier, I've been in the position as number one and I couldn't go to events and I couldn't get there. And I could, I gotta be honest that there were times where I was committed to certain things and I just couldn't do it. So it's pretty cool to see that you're, you know, you're getting there. Jason did text by the way, and he's pissed that you dare go Facebook live. Uh, and he's not on it. So you're going hey, to, you know what, but I don't, I'm, I'm not, a, I have nothing to do with this Facebook live thing. I reach out to you and then you go ahead and you extend it to whoever you want. Oh, so so thanks, it's on you. Thanks. It's on yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, now, you know, now I'm going to be dealing with that. Shane, is there anything else, you know, your perspective? Yes, Shane, I as, have as a, a question. Kane, go ahead. I'm putting you on the spot right now, brother. Listen, since you're not competing, forget about Sudsy Monchick. Sudsy Monchick is not here. He is not here. Listen. Oh, but he is. <laughs> oh, but no, he's not here. Well, you're about 20 feet from me, brother. But Kane, singles pro, who do you got? I like it. I like it. Doubles, who do you got? Don't hold like back, it. brother. Come on. So first of all, I don't even, I haven't even looked at the draw, nor do I know even. Oh, come on, doubles. Kane. Sorry, man. Sorry. I, I really <laughs> haven't, you know. Okay. Um, let me think. Let me think. Um. You know, I, I mean, obviously being the number one seed as far as Landa, obviously he has an advantage, obviously, in, 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 some, in some way. Um, but I really do believe that it's going to boil down to who's been able to play the most, you know? Um, you know, I think that uh, I got I mean, obviously, I, you know, I got this, this thing where I got to go with like some veterans, you know, but I think it's been proven. I, you know, in the last couple of times he's entered some tournaments. I mean, Conrado, he's right there. I think that De La Rosa, um, it's really open. And, and, and honestly, I mean, I know this is going to sound crazy, but like, 
I kind of am like excited about like thinking about like the <laughs> tournament in a way. And I don't want to like devalue myself because I feel odd saying that because I like, I would, I want to kick the shit out of everyone in the draw, really. Like, you know, like I'm kind of like, I know you do. It's hard for me, you know? Like, I'm like, who is going to win? I'm, uh, but you know? Kane, I'm putting you on the spot. You're like a fan for five I'm putting minutes. you on the spot. Singles, pro, who's winning? I don't like you. <laughs> i'm buying you bourbon brother remember i'm buying you brother listen who's right, winning I'm, singles you know pro? I'm gonna go with uh i'm gonna go with landa i'm gonna go with landa okay. i'm now, gonna go with landa. doubles oh i mean i don't even know the teams i mean uh yeah alex and and sudsy you got de la rosa who's de la rosa playing with alvi Don, donald williams Okay. No. You've got. <laughs> you've got uh, no, he really is. <laughs> so in the in the pros. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Murray, you got Murray and Brendan Beck. You got Murray and Brendan Beck. Portillo and Perea, Camacho and Acuna. And some good teams, man. A lot of good teams. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, who's who's the number one seed. Who's the number one seed in that one? Brennan Beck and Murray. All right, I'm going to go with them. And you know what? I'm going to actually give you a sleeper. Uh, I'm going to give you a sleeper on who I think might make it past what I, what I think. I think Jake <laughs> Brennan Beck might be a sleeper. All right. And I'm going to tell you why. Can I explain why? Please. Okay. I, I don't even think he heard that Alex and I are playing doubles together. <laughs> I don't think he did either. But <laughs> he was, he was, he was, no, I told him. I don't, I, since he's not here. <laughs> he, he did say such he's, he did say such he's not here right but the reason i say jake is because of this i think that with the fact that you know i believe jake has been able to play this whole time he's got a brother that is as as, as is good as well too that's an advantage on cement courts fast courts i ooh I think those are cement. Mm. I, I mean, I think that you know this. This is going to boil down to who's ever the sharpest. This is not going to boil down to who's got more skill. This is going to boil down to who's been playing and who's the sharpest. That's it. We're going to see some sloppy play, right? We're going to see. I mean, it's just going to happen. It's just the way that it's going to be, right? You know, the early match is going to be sloppy. You know, you probably get the you know the quarters of the semis will be pretty solid and then maybe the semis just might be a little bit of a struggle i mean you gotta remember right like no one's competed for a little while too like you can't expect a certain level when there just hasn't been a competition so really who's the sharpest so 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 he likes jake to go far in the singles you know but but jake we'll... plays landa so i believe right yes yes, yes that would jake be is... that would be i think that would be a quarterfinal yeah, because isn't think, Jake like sixteen? I, no, I think he's like eight or nine. But, but, but no, you know, no, 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 no. Same he's spot. Not, he's not in the top eight. There's no way he's in I'll, the top eight. I, I'll tell you right now. Hold on. All right, you got Alex will meet in the quarter in the quarters. If he beats Estrada, it will be either Jake or Sebastian Franco in the quarters and against what's Jake Alex. Ranked? Jake is ranked according to this. Eight. So eight nine, because you're not, you're not, you're not there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not okay. There, so he's about, he's about 10. 11. Okay. 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 But he's, All right. in this, he's, in this, he's nine, eight, eight, eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be an interesting one. But I do, but I do think that he's a little bit of a sleeper as far as, you know, the way the courts so, play and stuff. So 16s would be Sebastian Franco. If the seeds work out versus Jake, you like Jake to win that one? I like Jake. And then Alex against Estrada, if the seeds. I, I, Alex. I pick Alex. Then the, your quarter would be Jake and Alex. What do you got? See, this is where, you know, I feel, you know, I feel like that really can go either way. It's just going to be who's sharper. But I picked Alex, so I got to stick with Alex. I just think that Jake could be right. potentially a sleeper, you know? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to keep going. You got Murray at five with, against, if it works out, Javier and Mar in the 16s. Murray and Mar. Uh, again, uh, you know, I, 
I, I'm going to pick these based on the fact that I think that they're going to be, that they've been playing all the time. And I, I, I'm going to have to say, I think I'm going to have to say Murray in that one. Okay. So then Murray would play either Garay or De La Rosa in the quarters. I'm going to take De La Rosa. Okay. So now we got Murray versus De La Rosa in the quarters to meet who you have, Alex, in the semis already. De La so Rosa. Murray, De La Rosa. All right, so the top top half, you've got Alex and De La Rosa. Let's go to the bottom real quick. Perea coming in at the three seed. If the seed works out, he'll play Acuna, who would have Brett, Sam Brighton back in the 16s, but you uh, 32s. So it would be Perea and Acuna or Brighton back in the 16s. Who do you got? Andre Perea, Brighton back. I think Sam I still got to I, I, I still, I still take Perea. I take Perea. All right, so we'll put Perea through the quarters, right? He would, mm-hmm. he would, he's got both those guys. All right, then you got Thomas Carter, Lalo, Eduardo Portillo. You know Portillo, of course. That would be a 16s. Lalo. Then you would have Perea and Lalo in the quarters. Lalo. I think Lalo, I think Lalo, I All think right. Lalo's going to, yeah. All right, seven seed, Conrado, Connie. Would play if it works out according to seed Mario Mercado in the 16s. Conrado. And then the Conrado. bottom would be if it works out Mania versus Rocky in the 16s. Hmm. See, it hurts you to say what I'm thinking too. And and mostly Rock's not playing. He's got no courts. I can tell you that. See, that's what my that's where my thought immediately went, right? That's where my thought yeah. were immediately went. Um Is Mania playing? He just seems like the type of guy that'll find a court somehow, somewhere. I don't know. He's young enough he would do something like that. Yeah, like he'll build yeah. one and drive five, five yeah. or six hours. He's young enough he'd drive five hours to go play for an hour, <laughs> you know? Uh, dang. You know what, man? I, I gotta go. I gotta go with Rock, man. I gotta. I, I like Mania. I, I love. I love Mania. I love. He's I a good love, kid. Love, he's a good kid. I, yeah, he's a great kid, and I love his parents too. Man. I really do. Yeah, good but people. I, I, I think that he might just pull it out on experience. But right, I would. So Rock. Go ahead. You wouldn't go be super- <laughs> Rocky Conrado in the quarters. Conrado. Conrado. All right. So you got Conrado and Portillo in the bottom semi. Who do you got? Conrado. And top semi, you got Daniel and Alex. Alex. Yeah. Alex Conrado in the final. You sticking with Alex? Alex. All right. There, there you have it. Like All right. It. So, so Kane, before I let you go, because I, know I hope know I'm not you horribly know. wrong, you know? <laughs> I, well, I, I'll tell you this, that everything you just said, honestly, not shocking. I, I basically agree. Like nothing, there, there wasn't nothing jumped out of it. Wait, so that's um, the for the doubles. I didn't do the doubles. You want to do the doubles real quick? All right. Sure. <laughs> Why not? We'll do the double. All right, top half. You got Murray and Bredenbeck will play either, this is going to be a little more complicated. They'll play in the quarters either Mania and Sam Bredenbeck or Acuna and Camacho. Okay, I think, I think Mania and Bredenbeck are going to win. Okay, so then they would play Murray and Brennan back in the quarters. Yes, and then I would. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. Jake. Again, all right. I love. See, you, you like Jake like I like Jake. I love that kid. All right, then you got Conrado Moscoso and Kadim Carrasco versus Troy Warragon and Maurice Miller. It's gonna be more entertaining than people think. It is. I, I, for many reasons. Y- yes. Um. But. Uh, no, I got, I got, I, I got to go with uh, not Troy and uh, Maurice. Who, who's the other one? Con, Conrado and Kadeem. Correct. They, yeah, I got to go with that. I got to go with them. Next, next matchup: Momo Zelada, Formula Flow, and Dylan Pruitt versus Alejandro Landa, Alex Landa, and some guy named Sudzy Munchik. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go the opposite of Munchik. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, well then no, I, I got honestly, you and I got you and Landa. I got you right, and well, Landa. Well, 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 now I got a tough one for you because in the quarters you got Landa and me versus Conrado and Kadim. Who do you got there? 
I got you guys. Like See, this is why he's the goat right there. I mean, that, right. can we just end the conversation right there? All right, now let's go to the bottom. Daniel and Donald versus Zachary Patterson and Austin Cunningham. Austin Cunningham and... <laughs> All right. Um, Javier Estrada and Natera versus Eduardo Garay and Sebastian Franco. That's a good one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Estrada and Natera. Natera just got married. Congratulations, Natera. And congratulations, Yeah, Carla. congratulations, yeah. Against Eduardo Garay and Sebastian Franco. I'm going to go with Franco and Garay. I, I would agree with you on that one, too. Mercado and Alejandro Herrera versus Thomas Carter and Javier Mar. Mm. Mar's good over there, man, on the right. Mar, Mar hey, is buddy. good. By the way, like Scotty texted me while we're doing this, for everybody that's watching, this is a preview of the commentary. You guys want Kane and I doing some commentary <laughs> of some that. You, you, you know, if, I mean, I don't know why the IRT hasn't texted us both already and said, can you please do it? So I'm waiting for a text um, right now that just says done. Done, right, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, it, sorry, okay, so go ahead, go ahead. Thomas Carter and Mar. And Mar versus Mercado and Alejandro Herrera. I'm... Uh, I'm going to take Mercado and, and, and Herrera. I don't know about that one. That one's a tough one for me. It, I, mean, um, that one's, I mean, that one is a really tough one, but I think I'm going to take Mercado on that one. Yeah, I, I just – I have as the best doubles player in the court, and those four is Mar. But I, I don't, that's a tough one. I'll get back that one. All right, so let's, let's go – all right, now you're, so your, your quarters will be Zachary Patterson and Austin Cunningham – Versus Garay and Franco. Who do you got? Garay and Franco. I concur. Then you got Mercado and Herrera versus Paria and Portillo. Paria and Portillo. All right. Your bottom sent me. Paria and Portillo versus... Uh, where did I go? Uh, Garay and Franco. I, I, think, I think Paria. I think Paria and Portillo. Wow. Okay. Now your top semi. You got Jake Bredenbeck. We're both big fans of Big Jake. And your fellow Canadian Sam Murray versus the old guy and Alex Landa. Well, now see, here's where I'm stuck in a difficult position. <laughs> you know? Because All right, look I, at Shane digging in. He's loving this. He's yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see, here's where I'm in a difficult oh, position here because you know. I remember just not too long ago who I picked to win, but I didn't know the draw either in my defense, you know? True, um, true. You know, uh, wow. Um, you know what? I, I believe that the determining factor is going to be how much gas Landa has. I really, I really believe that. I mean, you know, playing in two divisions and you know, it's a lot of matches, you know? I think that if Landa... I, you know, I know that I picked, you know, them before, but you guys running into them, I really believe that if Landa can be as fresh as possible, I think, I think you guys got them, but it's really going to depend on how fresh Landa can be after a certain amount of matches. You know, some of them run late, some of them run, sure. you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it is, it sucks. I don't know how you guys do it. it, it you know. Yeah, it's, it's All tough. Right. So, All right. you know well, what? Uh, here's your, you here's your final. Thought. You know what? Listen, I'm going to take you, Suds. I'm gonna take you. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. No pressure, okay? Just don't let me down. Don't make me out to be a liar. I don't. I don't want to. Don't make me out to be a liar. So, so you're officially picking Alex and I to win. I am. Wow. All right. This is. I, I'm gonna go get some sleep right now. See, now, now I have pressure from you to say that, bro. Does he know what you do? Just hi hey. No hey, more hey, drinks. Hey, Shane. Just make sure he's hydrating like he was before. That's all. That's important. That's all that's important. All, all I want to know and the fans want to know, will you coach Alex and I, you know, during matches? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. That'll be fun. We won't even talk this about racquetball. Even, this is even Of course we won't. That's the beauty <laughs> of it. Nobody, nobody, nobody knows that. That's the you beauty of it. I was going to coach them, but now that you're going to, I'm just going to just sit there and enjoy it. Well, I appreciate I I appreciate you letting me do let me fill in for you. You know what I mean? Well, all right, all right. We're, I've got, we're gonna. I've got. Can I? Can I? Sensi, can I chime in? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, no, Scotty. We're looking questions. at the time. 
uh, uh, Kane. First of all, I don't know if you've looked at any of the junior draw. Who do you got in the junior draw, if anybody, or is there anybody that you're, you're thinking about? And then second of all, there's a draw 45 open doubles. <laughs> maybe 50 open doubles. I don't know. Maybe they're mixed up. Who do you got in there? Do you, are, are you thinking about, I don't know, there's maybe an amateur playing with this guy. This well, you know, it's player. funny you brought that up because that was the actual draw I was studying the most. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that you even said it. I can't believe it. I, that's the one I was really the most focused on. You Bro, know? Who's, that's, that's what he's thinking about, not this stuff. I'm serious. No, no. When I get no. Uh, you know what? I, is there – who's in the juniors? Who's playing in the juniors? I don't well, know. I mean, my favorite – my all-time favorite, uh, I, I've played with him in the States before, Timmy Hansen. He's a great player. I, I love the guy to death. I mean, I think he's just got so much talent. Um, you know, I know he's going to be there. I think he's even playing. The, uh, Sudsy, is he playing in the pro? I, I have. So so the boys 18 and under right here. Ready? I'm just going to say the names. There's no draws yet. You got from top to bottom, Andrew Gleason. I know you know him. Timmy yeah. Hansen, Benjamin Horner, Sebastian Longoria, Juan Pablo Rodriguez, Noah Payton, Armando Perez, Samuel Schultz, Cole Sendry, Cody Thomas, Eric Trujillo. Some good names right there. Some good players. So, Shane picks. Who who you pick, Shane? Timmy Hansen, Florida. I mean, I understand that. I understand that. And I can appreciate your loyalty. I respect that. You know, um, but all right, I got an idea. Right? Is an Andrew idea. not in Texas, right? No, 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 no. What is he? Andrew lives in, I think, uh, I Iowa. 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 Yeah. All right. How about this? How about this? They got to meet in the finals. Okay. But let's make a little friendly bet that if you're I love Timmy and my boy Gleason meet in the finals, I mean, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta have some sort of. Bring it. What do you got? I Tell me. What do you think? Like, like, a, like a nice glass of like some pappy or something. You know, I love her. So. <laughs> You're on. You're on. <laughs> Listen, if if Andrew Gleason and Timmy Hansen meet in the finals, my boy wins. You owe me a glass of pappy. However, if your boy wins, you owe me a glass of pappy. How about that? Cheers. <laughs> I'm out. I'm Cheers. already out. I got, I got my chamomile. <laughs> All right, listen. Done. Listen, Kane, Kane we, we talked about this. We said, you know, we promised Scotty Mack, who, who jumped in and producing the show tonight, that we would be 45 minutes. And you and I both said, there's no chance we're going to be 45. We're over an hour. Allie, listen, tell everybody real quick, Kane, if they can, if they can still sign up for the clinic, is it Allie at King Kane? What, how yes. do they do this? Yeah, Allie at King Kane. So, uh, rb.com. Uh, you can sign up through that. Obviously you can message, you know, on Instagram, you know, the, the athlete page. And, uh, obviously you can message me personally on Facebook and on my Facebook, you know, my athlete page as well too. Um, and yeah, you know, let's fill it up. I, I look forward to uh, seeing everybody and, and, uh, and hanging out. Just give it a donation, even though they don't come to the, I mean, if somebody just want to give a donation, can they do that? Yeah, yeah, you can give a donation. If you want to bring some Gatorades, that would be more than appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, so so there you have it. Listen, everybody, Kane's not injured. You heard it from him, all right? And and that was the least we could do, Kane, was give you the platform to tell everybody why you're not competing, but you will be in Atlanta. If you want to sign up for the clinic, it's Ali at KingKaneRB.com. If that's too much of a pain in the ass for you, like Kane said, message him. You know, message Allie, message me. I'll put you in touch with Kane. You know, just get there, do it. You'd be crazy to miss this opportunity. Uh, you should definitely go and, and, and hear what he has to say. Uh, I'm definitely going to pop in and hear what he has to say, whether he likes it or not. He's not charging me. I already said that. Uh, Shane, you know, thank you so much for, for being part of this tonight. Kane, if there's anything else you want to add, you know, before we go, um, the floor is yours, brother. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I appreciate the opportunity. Obviously, you know, it's always a blast, you know, uh, talking and talking racquetball and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I, obviously I, you know, thank everybody for the support and I appreciate it. And, and 
and uh, you know, yeah, sign up from the clinic. And like I said, you know, it, it just really Venmo and that's it. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, uh, it's a good time. We'll, we'll have fun. And then uh, I'll be around the club and hopefully we'll be able to do a, a little bit of commentating. That'd be kind of nice. And uh, you know, other than that, um, you know, people will get to see me in a, in a, my non-playing form, which I think is, is going to be, you know, cool as well too. It'll be fun. Again, thank you. You know, everybody, if you're watching, we'll see you in Atlanta. You'll definitely hear Kane and myself on the mic at some point. Go sign up for his clinic right now. Go email Ali, A-L-I, at kingkanerb.com. Get in on the clinic. You know, watch the watch the streams. Uh, Kane, I support you. I got you back. I know exactly where you are. I, I've been there. And, uh, you know, I'll always be here for you as your friend, as your peer. And uh, I'm really glad that you, you, got, you had the ability to speak to everybody tonight. So with that, you know, this is Beyond the Court. Shane DeWitt, our special co-host, uh, checking in for John Ellis, Scotty Mack behind the scenes. And uh, we'll see everybody soon. Have a great night. Thank you. Talk to you soon. All right.